Magic 1013 is Grown Folks Radio. Let's do segment two with Dr. Tanya Lowe. She's our special guest, AP's cousin from 98.3 The Beat. Dr. Lowe, let's move on to Want to Start a Riot? change the book. Now tell me about the concept of this particular book. Wow, the concept of this book, Edgar, is really um, to motivate people and give them a a tool of support um, as they go through their change. You know, sometimes, you know, people ask me, where'd you come up with this title? Well, anytime you've ever embarked upon uh, a change in your life, sometimes people around us can make us feel like we're in a riot. Why do you want to go back to school? Why are you going to do this? Now this is going to upset my apple cart. And so oftentimes people will delay what they want to do because of the riot around them. And what I'm saying is there's going to be a riot change anyway. And here's some affirmations and some confirmations to help you move through those riot changing um, situations in your life. You know, my my mantra now is let's start a riot. Let's Mm -hmm. get busy starting a riot (laughs) because, you know, that change is probably something that people have been wanting to do for a long time anyway. Mm-hmm. And it's like, let's get busy doing it. Yeah. it's and, and, and for those of you who are listening, you know the Nike uh, little genre, let's do it or just do it or what have you. These are, these are short sayings with photography that you have actually done yourself? Yes. Yes, photography I've taken myself from um, my vis- my vacations around the world, mm-hmm. anywhere from um, Egypt, Turkey, Hawaii, um, Lawrenceville, where I live. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I love photography, and this is a, a great passion of mine to be able to combine my writing with my photography. Mm-hmm. So you incorporate uh, positive sayings, and you also have some uh, spiritual stuff. You draw from the Bible, or your preacher, or your teachings? Or- <laughs> I'm not a preacher. Um, my father was a preacher. Okay, great. <laughs> but I, I'm, I'm very connected um, spiritually. Mm-hmm. And I believe that uh, as we progress in life, um, we're going to have battles and challenges, and there are going to be things that we're going to need to do to motivate and encourage ourselves. And so, um, especially when we're doing things and we're stepping out on faith, and people don't see our vision. And so, um, so I draw very heavily on the spiritual side. I draw very heavily on believing in myself and my capabilities. And I try to share that with people um, through coaching sessions and through our mastermind groups. Magic 1013 is Grown Folks Radio, Magic 1013. Let's, we're talking with uh, Dr. Tanya Lowe, author of the book, Want to Change? Start a Riot. All right, uh, Dr. Lowe, you know, I was thinking about it would be really nice. A lot of times when we interview people, if they are, uh, in, and, and when you when you when you are proud of your own baby, this is your baby. Nobody can really put the feeling and the inflections and stuff like a person who's actually lived this. You saw the site, took a picture of it, and then came up with an affirmation or some type of a statement for it. So I, I would love for you to be able to look into the book and get us a couple of your favorite ones or some very unforgettable uh, memories that you had. Okay. Tell us what's on the page, the picture, and what you're looking at, and then what, what the writings would go with it. Would you do that for us? I would love to do that, Edgar. Okay. I would love to do that. Um, the first one I want to share with you is um, it's a picture of these beautiful flowers that were taken in Hilo, Hawaii. Mm-hmm. And the saying is, why do we hold on to the comfort of old shoes when God is trying to bless us with new shoes? And when I wrote that, I thought, and you know, you can take the shoes out and, and put anything else in there. A lot of times we hold on to things that we need to let go of, mm-hmm. um, but myself included. And we blessings are just waiting for us, but we're holding on to the old stuff. So it's, you know, you think about those old shoes that you have in your closet. They're comfortable. They're raggedy. Get rid of those old shoes. Get some new shoes because yeah. that's that's your blessing. That's your blessing that's Very coming. Very good. And this, I'm looking at it right now, ladies and gentlemen. It's some beautiful orange or yellow flowers. It's orange, like a yellow with an orange trim. So that's beautiful. That's in Hawaii, huh? That's in Hawaii. Hilo, Hawaii wow. at the uh, Penawea Rainforest and Zoo. Mm-hmm. I may never see that. I'm scared to fly over that water for some reason. I don't oh. know. <laughs> just go to, just take a nap and you'll wake up there in Hawaii. <laughs> give us another one, Doc. <laughs> okay, another one that I want to give you is um, is stop asking people for their opinion. Stop mm-hmm. asking people for their opinion. Okay. Believe in your own ability. Take a step. Make a decision and own the outcome. And a lot of times we don't move forward with those things that we want to do because of all of the noise in our head. Mm-hmm. We have to believe in our ability. We have to believe in our vision. Um, and sometimes we just can't put our stuff out there because that, that riot's going to start. Mm-hmm. And so believe in your own ability, step out on faith, make it happen. 
Wow, very good. On the outcome. Mm -hmm. Stop listening to other people. Stop listening to other people. Okay. (laughs) Stop listening to other people. But, you know, Edgar, the other side of that is some of us don't know who to listen to. We're listening to the wrong people. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, we talk about that in our coaching sessions and in some of our mastermind groups. It's making sure that you have a core of people that you trust, that you can talk to, that you can bounce ideas off of. And that's um, one of the things that I love about mastermind groups because it's a group of like-minded individuals coming together to learn how to support each other to move forward in their vision. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you're going to share one more, you say? I have one more. And uh, this is live in your can and not in your can't. Mm -hmm. Your strength is in your can. And so oftentimes um, we, we focus on what we can't do. There's no strength there. That's, that's, a, that's a, a weak area. Yeah. Focus on what you can do. Yeah. Grown Folks Radio is Magic 101.3. My special guest right now is Dr. Tanya Lowe. She is with the Resurgent Group of Metro Atlanta and the Impact Experience. Her book is called Want to Start a Riot? Change. We'll be right back with segment three after this. <laughs> 